Hey guys, this is Scott, and what we're talking about is Apollo 20, the missions that they canceled. Now, NASA said they ca canceled 18, 19, and 20. Yes, Google it, they existed once, and of course, NASA canceled it. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, NASA didn't cancel it, it kept going. And I talked to William Rutledge. I was on YouTube about, oh, God, what, 12 years ago or something? I'm ancient. I'm not even going to say my age. And I talked to William Rutledge, and he was like 77 at the time. He had, I asked him, how did you get these tapes? And he says, well, I dug through a bin. I, I, I was part of the mission, and I dug through a bin next to a security guard when I saw them throwing them out. And I, and I asked the security guard if I could take a few, and, and he shrugged, and I took some. Him and another guy took some, and so he got these vid he got videos of Del Porte Crater and his missions and stuff that he participated in. This is a highlighted area of the ship that he mostly talks about in Del Porte Crater. Now he didn't know it existed on the internet, and I went out and found a forum because you know, seventy-seven years old. Of course, he's not going to buzz all over the internet all the time. Anyway, I went out and found two of Del Porte Crater, and I found these objects in it. And I'll show you the originals in just a minute. But notice, in his story, one of the things he says is next to this big cigar, cigar kind of UFO air alien craft that they explored inside, was a triangle craft that they also explored inside. Now, this is the triangle craft right here. Now, if I add a little dehaze to it, you could see it a lot. You're really going to have to play with your own photo programs to see these better, to get them into focus. But I colorize it to help you in the beginning. Okay, you can see this blue craft over there. He never mentioned that. This blue thing, he never mentioned that. But he did mention the cigar UFO and the triangle craft uh, UFO. And uh, it's just extraordinary. Let's Okay, here's my website, and if you ever click there, maybe you'll see the Apollo 20 stuff I have there. Uh, it's way back from, I, I wrote it during 2011, but I also wrote more about 2009. Um, some of it disappeared, and I wrote very angry up here that the CIA has been deleting videos on YouTube pertaining to the Apollo 20 mission, and they were back in 2011. You put up three videos and two of them disappearing uh, is freakish. Even YouTube didn't give you notifications back then. But I have the link to these, and this is one of them. This is the original NASA website, the LPI USRA education site for NASA. And you can come down here, and the, the object also has a mirror image, which is a little bit different. Uh, but it's pretty cool. You just pick it up and drop it. There's another one over here. You can't see it for some reason on my desk. I can't scoot over there. I don't know why. Let's look at the originals. Look at these and enlarge them. Okay, guys, this is the photo. I just dropped it in here in this little program and I already enlarged it. And I'm going to show you right over here is the object, the cigar craft that we're talking about from Apollo 20. Now, to you, Apollo 20 seems like, oh, it's impossible. It's been debunked, debunked. Everything's been debunked. George Washington's been debunked. Our existence has been debunked. The president's been debunked. America's been debunked. Earth doesn't exist. So don't listen to that bull. Um, really, the honest truth is, the truth is in the photographs and his videos. And you can really see right here, it does exist. The UFO does exist. And I asked him, William, how do you get these changed to to video? Why would they have video? And he said, no, no, I had them changed from, I believe he said, some kind of tape, uh, tape recordings. Uh, what do they call those? Nine millimeter, eight millimeter, whatever it is. Uh, it was a long time ago when I talked to him. And I chatted with him and I asked him, what are you doing in Rwanda? Who the hell wants to live in Rwanda? For God's sake, you're an astronaut. And he said, well, actually, I fell in love with a girl, a black woman, and uh, married her. But she passed away, but Rwanda is my home now. I've been here forever. I said, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, tell me about the mission a little bit. And he said, well, 
one of the main things about the mission was that they said uh, they to determine whether he was going to go or not the main thing came down to this do you believe in God one single question and he says I believe in science and so they said okay looks like you're in uh, I don't know why believing in God would be a, a hard thing a question back then in the 70s but perhaps it's because the fear of God and demons and angels might distort the proper way of thinking and seeing these things so maybe they're just afraid of having astronauts panic let's look at the other one it's much more clear this one is more clear if you look at the the uh, cigar shaped craft over here it's much clearer I can enlarge it quite a bit and it's really remarkable it really is great here this is incredible uh, one day I, I, I chatted with him in the comments and there was an about section we could comment in uh, on his channel and um, one day his videos disappeared and he panicked and he says Scott I'm, I'm getting off of here I'm going to Reaver uh, I just I can't take this anymore and I said what's going on he said all my videos but one have been deleted I said you did it I said no he said no I didn't do it someone hacked my account and deleted it all but one and then William Rutledge says I'm leaving here you can chat with me on Reaver and I sent him a few emails but he never responded um, but the thing is uh, uh, he did go to Reaver and one of the last comments he left in his comment section on that one video or somewhere on his channel was good job to whoever it was who broke into my account you did a great job there and um, he left because he, he panicked he's 70 something years old 77 at the time and now he's if he's still alive he's like 80 something a uh, 89 90 so good god uh, of course in the 70s if you're 77 years old wouldn't you panic a little bit if you're worried about the cia chasing you down because back then uh 12 years ago they did that back then ufo researchers disappeared and they still disappear if you're anywhere around a news reporter from russia stay away from them that's how street cap one died i warned him about that he had to do the interview with rt news he wouldn't listen to me and um we did have the chat if you go back about seven six videos on his youtube channel you'll see the chat me and him had but the thing is uh william rutledge was real he was real and he was scared he said I could take some of his videos and I did and a lot of other people took my videos and spread them around and it's really great I love that look at this object over here guys do you see the statue the statue standing up is very similar to a statue when I was in Singapore I saw um, this is really cool look at this statue right here can you see it I'm circling it. it's right up here it has like a face and stuff but let me show you some more as we move over there is a spaceship right here um, let's see how much I can deepen it and add more can you see the blackness here that's a triangle spaceship he was talking about he went into now in this one the long one he said there was glass tunnels when they entered it glass tunnels from nose to end and the thing is the glass tunnels had little tiny bodies of some bipedal species about two centimeters three centimeters tall and the, they're obviously intelligent species but the walkway in the middle of the UFO was much bigger made for bigger people and the pilot itself was human size and more Asian like but with a third eye yes a third eye above her area above her eyebrow area uh, but it was closed with some kind of wax and she was sealed and they brought her back to uh, he said they brought her back to area to some base and they had her in a stasis she wasn't dead when she wasn't alive she was in this coma toast kind of state hibernation maybe but look over here if you look over here it looks really weird this crater area looks really unnatural but that's not what I want to show you I want to show you buildings and some temple I found the temple has a snake next to it and as I move you're gonna see it much better uh, you can't see it very well here so what I'm gonna do is go to the other photo real fast it's right over here we're gonna zoom in and here it is right over here now I'm gonna add some light to it 
I'm going to add some light to it. Okay. And uh, let's see. Zoom in. You can see there these lights and everything. These are buildings over here. But what I'm talking about is a temple right here. Right here. Now I'm going to try to enlarge it so you can see this temple. It's a little hard to uh, see. Uh, let's see how. Whoa. I can't darken. I hit the wrong one. There we go. Add light. Now let's add sharpening. Whoa. It's really hard to see, isn't it? It's really hard to see right there. It doesn't come out very well, uh, but it it used to. Maybe I messed something up here, but there seems to be some kind of city in this area. This tunnel, there's a tunnel here. What I just hit. There's a tunnel right here going through it, and it goes through a lot of other moon photos too. And you can see that this tunnel also has other tunnels going over it. Do you see this tunnel going over it and another one going under it? That's just crazy cool, guys. That is so cool. So, anyway, this whole area over here is buildings and structures. Let's go back to natural. Maybe you could see it a little bit better this way. A little bit better. Let's go back to that temple. Where is that temple, people? That temple is right over here. Right over here. I'm going to sharpen it. Just sharpening. And it comes out a little bit better. Okay. Uh, sharpen it one more time. See what happens. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. But let's quit. Go back to normal. And go back to the spaceship. There's a lot of stuff in this photo, guys. There's a lot of stuff in this photo. Okay, right over here is the cigar spaceship, which is different than this one. Let's jump and show you real fast. Okay, guys, hit like and subscribe. That subscribe button is very important. Please try to share it. If you have a social media account, that really helps me out a lot. Tell me your thoughts about Apollo 20. Did they exist? Why were they hiding it? What kind of alien technology did they bring back? If you ever saw the Apollo 20 moon videos, just Google uh, search Apollo 20 on YouTube. It will blow your mind. It's real.